So it's pretty easy to make our own Lego motors, right? How do we power them? With battery holders we get from the store? No, we're gonna make our own. So first thing, get some batteries. Two double A's is a pretty common choice, so I'm gonna go with that. Next, make a box for the batteries. I have already pre-built part of it. Kind of like that. Check that you uh, made it big enough for your batteries to fit with a little bit of space for them to wiggle. Excellent. Now the tricky bit. Go get a paper clip. I have a big paper clip. Smaller paper clips are actually better because they're thinner wire. But this is what I have lying around. And hopefully you have some pliers. And then use your pliers and your mega brain skills to bend your paper clip into a spring. And it doesn't have to be like a squared off spring, but the pliers make squared springs easily. You can also like wrap it around the end of a pencil or something. And it's also kind of useful to have the uh, spring slowly get bigger so that when it compresses it can like go you know the top part can go inside the lower part so it can compress more just in case you need it to. Make sure your spring is fat enough that when you put it in there and then stick a battery in it like compresses in there and you know it's tight enough to hold the battery because you want to have good contact in there. Next bend it up about like that and then bend it so it fits in one of the holes like that and then bend it back and then jam it in a hole like that and then fold this part up and then you can cut off any excess that's hanging out off the top there and obviously you don't want that on the outside and if you did a good job then you have your thing fitting very well inside the hole so you can just take it off and stuff it where you need it right in there and then that'll take care of one battery contact and this will take care of the other battery contact over there <laughs> how I foolishly squandered my entire paper clip on one end oh, I'm gonna have to find another one found one but this kind I'll have to rip the plastic off Plastic is not such a good conductor, of electricity at least. Now make the same spring you made the first time. Now this time instead of bending stuff way over here, you're going to have to put a thing right behind that'll go into a hole. So I'll bend that back there. and then. like that and like so and then leave a little bit up there turned over because you have to put a wire through there and then clamp it shut and then you can solder it or not solder it if you don't have it and if you do a good job in these they'll fit in the holes and you can take them out and reuse them for different battery boxes like if you wanted to make this a four battery battery box you could just make it longer and use the same pieces and stuff. Wrap a wire around there and then clamp it shut. Try not to break your wire. And then if you want to make sure your connection's really good solder it but I'm not gonna bother. And then of course take that and put it inside your battery box oh. there so now there's a spring here and a flat here and a spring here now we just need a flat at this end and you can make that last flat part with just a long end of your wire by sticking it through here and bending it down in the inside hold on a second See, like so, and then, let's see, I'm going to wrap up over the top, hold on. Okay, like that. It starts in there, 
comes out the hole, wraps over the top, and comes back out. And now you've got your two wires. And hopefully, if I stick my batteries in there, they'll contact everything. And you can look in and see if anything's not contacting. You can move stuff around. It looks like everything's good, though. And now I just have to strip my other end wires and check if it turns the motor on. Okay, Lego battery box. And ghetto Lego motor. Oh. oh, wait. There it is. I just wasn't touching the right thing. Ha! There it is. Excellent! And now you can run around the house shouting, Look what I made! Look what I made! And everyone will be so super impressed. Watch this. Check it out. Oh! Look what I made! Look what I made! Oh, you're so impressed. I can tell. Hey, ho, 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 ha, 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 Hmm, I guess it would be nice to have a switch so I can leave it connected and activate and deactivate the switch. Then I can build all kinds of things.